it's math time! For math today, we will continue learning about subtraction. Do you remember what subtraction means? Let's all say it together. It means finding out how many are left after some are taken away. Subtraction. Good job. Also, today, we're going to practice writing subtraction sentences. Here are the symbols that we will use when we write our subtraction sentences. Mm -hmm. This symbol is called take away. So every time you see this symbol, we say take away. Can we all say that together? Take away. Take away only has one line. Now, do you remember this symbol? Yup, equals. The equal symbol has two lines. Take away. Equals. Say it with me, friends. Take away. Equals. Very good. Before we go into our actual lesson, boys and girls, let's do a little warm-up activity. For our warm-up today, we will be writing numbers in rice. If you have some rice at home, now is the time for you to get some. Ask an adult, a grown-up to do it with you or for you. Put a little rice on a plate like this. If you don't have rice, that's okay. You can use sand if you have sand or... You can just write it on paper. So now it's the time for also for you to get the, those writing materials and some paper, and we're gonna do this together. Go ahead, boys and girls. Do you have all your supplies? I guess we're ready to do this. I have some shapes to show you, boys and girls. Our job is to figure out how many sides does a shape have. And then we're going to show that number with our fingers and then write that number in rice, in sand, or just on paper. Are you ready? Okay, here is our first shape. How many sides does this shape have? Let's count the sides all together. Count with me, friends. One, two, three. How many sides did we count? Three. Now, show me three with your fingers, but you have to show it to me the math way, okay? So that means start with your left pinky. Show me three fingers for three sides. Let's do it. Ta-da! Good job! All right, let's write number three in the rise. Let's say the rhyme, friends. Backward C, backward C, that is how I write a three. Good job. Here is our next shape. Ta-da! How many sides does this shape have? Count with me. Here we go. One, two, three. Four. How many sides did we count? Four. Can you show me for the math way? Ready? Go. Ta-da! Very good. Now let's write number four. Down the side to the right some more. Top to bottom. I've written four. Very good. Are you ready for the next shape, boys and girls? Me too. Ta-da! How many sides does this shape have? You're right, zero. This shape has zero sides. Can you show me zero with your fingers? Show me. Ta-da! Zero, no fingers up. Zero. Zero means nothing. No fingers up. Zero. Let's write number zero together now. Curve from top and be a 
hero. Close the loop and make a zero. Here is the last shape for today. Ta -da! How many sides do you see? Let's count the sides together now. One, two, three, four. This shape also has four sides. Can you show me four in, with your fingers one more time? Ready? Show me. Ta -da! Awesome job. Now we'll have to write number four one more time. Let's do it together, friends. Down the side to the right some more. Top to bottom. I've written four. Very good. Now listen to this subtraction story. David's tower has five blocks. Two blocks fall off. How many blocks are left? This is a picture of David's tower. We said that David's tower had how many blocks? Five. Let's make sure that we have five blocks. Count with me, friends. One, two, three, four, five. Very nice. How many blocks did we count? Five. Let's write five right here. Help me write number five, friends, by saying the rhyme with me. Let's do it. Down the side, around a hive. Give it a hat. I've written five. Good job. Now, do you remember how many blocks fell off? Two. That's right. So let's cross off two blocks. Let's cross this off. One, two. Very good. So how many blocks did we cross off? Two. So we say five. Do you remember how to um, write the takeaway sign? Mm-hmm. Just like that. Let's see if Miss Mendes can write that sign next to five. So five take away. How many blocks did we cross off? Two. Why did we cross off two blocks? Yes, because two blocks fell off David's tower. That's right. So two blocks fell off. So we say five take away two. Let's write number two. Say the rhyme with me. Half a moon, there's more to do. Slide to the right, I wrote a two. So five, take away two. How many blocks are left? Three, you're right. One, two, three. Three blocks are left. So we say five blocks, take away two blocks, equals. So you remember how to write the equal sign? Like that. Very good. Let's see if Miss Mendes can write it. Two lines just like that. Awesome. Now, how many blocks are left again? Three. Good. Five blocks take away two blocks equals three. Let's write number three in this rectangle. Um, say the rhyme with me. Here we go. Backward C, backward C. That is how I write a three. Good job, boys and girls. Let's say our num um, number sentence one more time. Say it with me. Five, take away two equals three. Good job. Here's the next subtraction story. There are four beads on the necklace. Let's see if we can count four beads right here. Count with me. One, two, three, four. Very nice. We counted how many beads? Four. Help me write number four, friends, by saying the rhyme. Down the side to the right some more. Top to bottom. I've written four. Very good. Now, three beads come off. How many beads came off? Three. Let's cross off three beads. One, two, three. 
Why did we cross off three beads, boys and girls? Yes, because these three beads came off. So we say four, take away, how many beads? Three, because three beads came off. Backward C, backward C, that is how I write a three. So four beads take away three beads. How many beads are left? Just one bead left. Good job. So four beads take away three beads equals, let me write the equal sign. How many beads are left? Just one. Let me write one right here. Say the rhyme with me. Top to bottom, then I'm done. I just wrote the number one. Very nice, boys and girls. Let's say our number sentence one more time. Four take away three equals one. Good job. That is all for math today. I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.